Dog fighting is a horrible animal welfare abuse. Sometimes they have been clubbed to death or shot or abandoned and left to die. Um, let's talk about dog fighting. Um, it's estimated that around 30 organised dog fights happen every week here in the UK, although the number might be higher. Apparently, winners of these illegal fights can make up to £100,000 per fight. Training methods for these dogs, their lack of veterinary care, etc. Can you shed some light into this? What can be done? Yeah, dog fighting is a horrible animal welfare abuse that seems to be increasing in prevalence in the United Kingdom. And you've mentioned the very high rates of money that presumably just a few of these um, fights are able to offer to the winners, but which helps to increase their popularity. It's, it's extremely abusive. It starts with the um, way in which the dogs are kept and housed. Uh, they're not uh, housed in loving households with normal social contact with other dogs and people, but rather uh, they're often not properly socialised and denied uh, good um, veterinary care as, as well. Uh, the training methods are, are quite abusive. They may be forced to run on treadmills for long periods, uh, lunging at um, lures or even uh, other animals such as kittens in order to try to strengthen their uh, shoulder and leg muscles. Uh, they're, they're trying to carry, to drag heavy objects around. When they engage in these fights, uh, they obviously become uh, quite severely injured sometimes, uh, if that is the case, because the injuries have been illegally obtained. They're not usually taken to veterinarians where they might be reported to authorities. Uh, they will more usually be treated with crude methods such as superglue, people attempting to sew up wounds themselves, uh, staples and things like that. Um, animals that lose fights are sometimes uh, badly abused by their owners because uh, the, they are considered to have dishonoured their owners. Uh, sometimes they have been clubbed to death or shot or abandoned and left to die, even tied to railway tracks, ridiculous um, and horribly cruel uh, ways to treat these animals. So it's a disgusting uh, industry, it's a disgusting abuse of animals. Uh, Clearly, we need to be ensuring the penalties for this kind of behaviour are appropriate and increased, but I would argue that even more effective than penalties would be widespread education about animal welfare, actually, uh, in schools, um, teaching people about um, how wonderful these dogs can be and about what is appropriate care for these animals and uh, seeking to encourage positive attitudes towards uh, the animals we share our societies with and also other people. Uh, there is a humane education movement that seeks to encourage positive behaviours and develop positive attitudes, and uh, we don't resource that uh, well at all in the United Kingdom, and animal welfare is not a required part of the curriculum here, despite the uh, clear social benefits it can provide. So that, I think, would be even more effective, actually, than increasing penalties. When it comes to, like, welfare, what would you focus on? What what would you... What would you... As I said, I think one of the most important things that we could do is seek to educate children and young adults about uh, animals, their needs, uh, what wonderful companions they can be, and also how to really safeguard their welfare. We could do other things like provide um, subsidy services for low-income communities where uh, people might struggle to get veterinary care, and also a really other important thing, which is uh, behaviorists and uh, socialization for young uh, dogs to ensure that they do not become aggressive they uh, become confident well behaved and happy with other dogs and people socialization of animals when they're young is really important as is uh, appropriate preventative health care vaccinations flea and worm control uh, and especially neutering of animals uh, when they're young as well so these services aren't always available in all communities not everyone can uh, afford them um, uh, so it would be good to see uh, the importance of animals reflected in our social policies, uh, including through subsidised veterinary care to communities that need those and particularly education services so people understand the importance of things like socialisation, looking after dogs properly and absolutely not abusing them.